In this segment, we'll demonstrate the basics of using Scout to trace varied lines. In this example, we'll trace the signal applied to a water line with a Navitrack line transmitter, but you would use the same technique for any type of line. We've connected to a backflow valve that tees into the main water line about 15 feet away. Lower frequencies tend to travel farther and bleed less, so for this job, we've selected the transmitter's lowest frequency, which is 512 Hz. We'll turn the receiver on and use the frequency key to select a line trace frequency to match our transmitter. If you haven't already activated the line trace frequencies in your receiver, you can do so in the settings menu. See your user manual for details. Before we go locate our water line, we'll make sure we're receiving the transmitter signal. We have a good strong signal, so we'll go pick up our target utility. When we approach the target utility, the tracing line will appear in the active view area. The tracing line indicates the approximate location and direction of the signal radiating from the target utility. If we're picking up a good undistorted signal, the signal strength will be highest when the line is centered on the crosshairs and will decrease when we move the receiver to the right or left. In this case, the signal strength is not highest when the tracing line is centered. This is one indication that our signal could be distorted. Next, we'll take a depth measurement. To get a depth measurement, the tracing line must be centered on the crosshairs, and the lower antenna ball must be touching the ground. Next, we'll rotate the receiver in the direction indicated by the arrow until the depth appears. Now we'll take another reading by rotating the receiver 180 degrees. In this case, the two depth measurements differ greatly. Our signal appears to be distorted, so we'll look for an alternate connection point. We have access to the main water line at the meter, so we'll connect our transmitter there and try or locate again. This time, the signal is highest when the tracing lines are centered. and the two depth measurements are close to one another. Everything looks good, so we'll proceed with our locate. We'll keep the tracing line roughly centered on the display as we walk, and let it guide us along the target utility's path. We'll also keep an eye on the signal strength, which should remain reasonably stable during the trace. When we're ready to mark the line, We'll check the signal strength and depth, just as we did before. Here are some key points to remember when you're tracing a line. Check for signal distortion before and during your locate. If the signal appears to be distorted, you may be able to reduce the distortion by using an alternate connection point or by isolating its ground from nearby utilities. Use the tracing lines as a guide to help you follow the utility's path, but always mark the line where the signal strength is highest. In the past few minutes, we've introduced you to the Navitrack Scout. Before using Scout, be sure to read the Operator's Manual. The Operator's Manual contains detailed information on the equipment's features and operation, and will help you get the most out of your equipment. From all of us at Rigid, thank you for buying the Navitrack Scout, and thank you for watching this video.